in the morning with the rising sun. Up in the morning with the rising sun. Gonna run all day to the running I can only imagine it will be like. Actually, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the old man. I have a brand new hat because he just got to start off brand new every month. On to the far away from me over there with the pro. (laughs) The smoothest man in town. His name is uh, Zach the Mac. That's right. Old man Zach the Mac. Don't forget the name. All right. 008. That's why go. I want to shout out to old man with the, the Eddie Guerrero shirt, too, man. I like that. That's yeah, classic right there, you know? Wear yes. blue with Eddie Guerrero. That's right. Shout out to the ladies. International Ladies Month. You know, we love you. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, um, that's right. <laughs> uh, you know, go talk stuff. You know, we will talk LeBron, but we'll just, you know. Can I get a hell yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I'll pass it over to the hostess, though. Yes. That's right. You want that. Don't know the most. No, All forget right. you guys. Anyway, what's up, everybody? Thank you all for joining us here on 216 The Net. As always, every Sunday at 9 p.m. We appreciate you all for stopping by. But don't forget to, like we say before we move on to the show, is don't forget to Google us. All right? Google. You can definitely catch us on Apple Music, YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, and the new new location where we can stream ourselves on Twitch, everybody. Yeah. All right? So that's going to be badass. We'll, we appreciate that. We'll be kind of letting you guys know about Twitch in a few because we actually uh, there's some there's a little you know streamer oh, yeah. that I think uh, old man's gonna like that we'll share a little later. Yes, so. yes, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just know the fact that we could eventually play Mario Kart on there. Oh yeah. I'm, yeah, so that. That. I'm so with that. I'm so with Yeah. So with that, right now, let's get into our rundown report, everybody. <clears throat> As always, can't get clear the throat, right? <clears> throat> I think I think we should talk about with uh, last yeah, night yeah. I mean, you know, I'm gonna pass it over to Estrogen. You yeah, start off with that because I'm not up, I'm not bringing it up. I'm not bringing hey, it up. Hey, Drew, what's going on? What's going man? on, guys? What's Shout going out to on, Drew? How you doing? At yeah, this ahead. point, go one ahead. more time, let me go ahead and say, can I get a high? Yeah? Because the greatest of all time, Johnny Bones Jones, came back and whooped the living hell out of out of Cyril Game, made him tap in less than five minutes. Came in, slapped him around, called him Susie, then said, go on home, baby, because you ain't going nothing to hear. That's why I'm drinking right now, because I can't. I, I'm depressed. I'm, like, I'm not depressed. I'm happy. It's like I told you it's going to happen. I told you it's going to happen. Yeah, and what yeah. happened? It happened. And, and speaking on speaking on that, though, who, the, the lady of the ladies over there beat up Shemchenko. Yep. Uh, and I told you that was going to happen, too. Uh, yes, that's Alec good. Caruso? Yes, yes. Caruso? Alec, uh, Caruso? Caruso. Caruso. Yes, indeed. So, Miss <laughs> Caruso. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you about to find out? Hey, hey, there we go. Go. That's right. <laughs> a little late, but no big deal. No, no, it's all good. Yeah, a little late, than never. but yeah, Miss Alice Caruso, we appreciate you for being, you know, the first Mexican women to win a title. Third right, overall, I mean, third bro. overall, third overall in UFC history. But she represents. I appreciate that. That was awesome victory. Yes. She 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 was a dog. She the, handled that. Fight the best part well. of the fight is when the coach was like, "Yes, so yes." So. Yeah. <laughs> that was That's so funny. Right. All you can hear is, "Yes." Right. So. Yes. I'm like, yeah. All right, get into the other stuff and run that report, everybody. A new Pokemon show coming to Netflix. That's what's up. Those Pokemon lovers out there, you guys can get a new show on Netflix, everybody. That's what's it's up. Claymation too. Yeah. Peter oh, Pan God. and Wendy trailer debuted early this week. Now, Disney is facing backlash because of that trailer for the new look on Tinkerbell. Because she's black? I guess Oops. so. Oops. I'm no, sorry. That Did I say so, that too fast so. and out loud? Yes. Tinkerbell can't be black. Yeah. The mermaid, mermaid can't, can't be, be black. Be black. You know, I, I can't be black. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, speaking on that, Vanessa Bryant <laughs> to receive more than $28 million to settle their claims against the L.A. County over the graphic photos that were taken and shared after the fatal helicopter crash that killed Kobe and his daughter. Gianna. All right, Pete. All right. That's R. what's R. up. Mm-hmm. That's, That's the yep. so, uh, Now, eight players were ejected earlier this week at the in the SEC Women's Tournament after a scuffle broke out during the Kentucky-Florida game. I that was that. pretty uh, – yeah, yeah, I didn't see it, but I heard, I was, yeah, I heard I sh- they were fighting. Hey, they man, were... I shared it on the Messenger thing. You, I told you guys to watch the video. Did you watch it? No, no, no one. You for, the record, you, for the record, you know it went at home. Nobody listens oh, to Tony the Kid. In the I guess not. No, okay, don't, no. so don't be prepared for the show. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well, anyway. Hence why, <laughs> hence why yes. John Bones Jones is still the greatest no, of all no. time. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, Patrick Kane. We're not get, we don't get into a lot of NHL stuff, but you know, Patrick Kane did bring some championship titles to the Blackhawks for the Chicago team. This you know for this decade, I guess you would say. Yeah, yeah. And, but he is traded to the New York Rangers. I think Blackhawks is starting fresh, starting new. 
my 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 understanding to this. I think he was the last of the Mohicans on there. Did you from the see, did championship. You see the, the tribute they did for him oh, in wonderful. the parking lot? Yeah, oh, nice. no. Like, they, they put thank you. Like, basically, yeah. in the stadium, they put thank you, and then they put his number on, on the parking lot. It was fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Man, that's love. Yeah, that is love. love. Commanders release Carson Wentz, quarterback, finally, you know, was the so-called almost MVP, but – um Almost. Yeah, yeah, but he's moving on. Hold on. What do you think? He's going to Indy? You think he's going to Indy, guys? He's nah, going back to Indy? So. No? First yeah, where's Tom at? You think you want Carson Wentz on your team? No? Nah? Oh, okay. Carson Wentz on his team. Oh, okay. <laughs> Giants are releasing <laughs> Kenny Galladay, right receiver over there. I think he came from uh, the Lions, if I'm not mistaken. He came from the Lions, went to, went to the Giants, where Was he I scored picked? one touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Hey, I guess. Some people never scored all. <laughs> Yeah, right. he, 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 he won't won't do it. How many right. seasons he only scored one touchdown? <laughs> that man, right? There. That's right. WBO orders Terrence Crawford title defense against Alexis Rocha, who's ranked number three. Give me the next one. Give me the next one. Okay, <laughs> go right here. Go ahead, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time, and Becky Lynch. Have won the tag team championships on Monday Night Raw. Yep. What does that do to me? Well, it hurts my feelings because Io Sky lost. It's Aww. the second time in my life where I want to go for Io Sky. I'm sorry, honey. I went for Alita this time. I got to apologize one more time because I keep doing this to you. All right, go back. <laughs> All right, so if you heard the last break, that was his heart. <laughs> now, now Papa, Papa Fury, everybody, calls out Jake for not honoring his deal after the loss to Tommy. I guess he didn't pay up like he was supposed to. And don't forget, so, Jake was the one calling him out saying, hey, that is true. you that have is. to pay this. That is true. Now, Mayweather versus Chalmers. Sparks major criticism. Everybody, we'll talk about that later in the show. Okay. Now, WWE superstar Sonia Deville was arrested for gun possession in New Jersey. Damn. She found out that old man was going to be posted and decided to bring her Actually, little pistol. I I know why she's carrying a gun. She's been stalked a lot. Oh, okay. so she has a real stalker. She's Hence, taken allegedly, them to court allegedly, and everything. Allegedly, no, allegedly. Uh, it's, oh, it's, for real, for real. Yeah, for real. Uh, uh, okay. So she had a real life stalker. She's been carrying the gun to protect herself from this person who's been stalking her all the way to her home. Um, and now you know she goes to New Jersey with the gun, and of course. No, no, not at all. I guess not. Like, I don't know if this is too early or not, but I mean, maybe John Morant will try to protect himself too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> well, uh, wait, don't forget though, John Morant's got to defend himself against a teenager. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's continue on, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue on. In and Out Burger <laughs> has ranked the second healthiest fast food cheeseburger in America. Everybody, really? we yeah, all man. like fast foods around here, but let, I wanted to let it run everyone else. So the top five. Texas chain Whataburger is ranked number one. That's right. What? That's right. Whataburger. Whataburger's number one. Checkers and Rallies is tied for third. Checkers Culver's is, third. is ranked number Culver's four. Culver's is fire. That's right. And Taco, Del Taco and Dairy Queen are <laughs> tied for fifth. Dairy Queen has yes. a burger? Taco. Uh, healthiest? Yes. Well, it's healthy as fast food burger. I'm surprised okay. about the checkers and rallies, especially with the baconzilla. Really? Thank you. Exactly. I don't the know. Baconzilla. So, uh, what? I guess you don't see Burger King on here. You don't see McDonald's. You, you don't, don't see Wendy's. Wendy's, Wendy's uh, actually, to let you guys know, Wendy's is ranked dead last. Ooh, damn. Dead last. Yes. Dead last. Yes. No more four for four. Like, uh, over I, I, that's about, what wait, I said. I don't know. Wait. I'm surprised Five Guys isn't on here. That too. That's, yeah. I think they're ranked number six or seven. Who's oh, this yeah. list? I don't know. <laughs> probably, probably the same. Probably Just the same. Yeah. Probably the same person that. That. I'll show you that later. Hey, the old man. Let me old man. Hey, hey Eric. Man. What's going on, brother? How you what doing? Up, Eric? What, what up, Eric? What up, what brother? Up? <laughs> they call us rascals? Yeah. No, he says rejects. Rejects, oh. fool. Rascal. Old, Somebody get this man some glasses because yeah, he can't see. Please. Listen, I moved the television screen. Close. Closer. Thank you. <laughs> Tell him. And he still can't see it today. I swear to God. He's still like this. You're that old. Oh, wait, it's coming. It's, you hey, call us rascals? You're an old man like me. I guess hey, so. I guess so, man. I guess. I guess All right, so. continue You want to switch chairs, man? Oh, old rascals. Old, 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 nice, nice. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate that. Now, speaking of what, what Zach the Mac just stated, new allegations of the brawl that involved John Morant and the teenage boy have come out. <laughs> He's so tough. Yes. So That's we right. are going to be discussing that a little bit later. All okay, right. Good, so good. I got plenty on that stuff. Yes, we do. We got a lot of stuff. <laughs> now, Hellboy the Crooked Man cast Jack Kessie as Hellboy, everybody. 
yes, another reboot is on the way. That's cool. I mean, Spider Man had like 15 of them. <laughs> Damn, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, that's true. Tell me, er- tell me you're not a fan of Spider Man. I'm telling me you're not a fan of Spider Man. Right. Adam Sandler is set to be honored with King of Comedy Award at the 2023 Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards, that, everybody. That's, that's for little brother. Danny yeah. do it. You know, nah, Danny do it right now. Happy with that. It's okay. It's cool. <laughs> Don't forget, Creed 3 is out now. Everybody yeah. go watch it. SG3 and the old man did see it yesterday. Oh, they loved it. This right. is good movies. My son wants to go see it, so I believe I'm going to end up Yo, taking my boy. He's a see big it. fan of it. That too. Yes. Uh, yeah. Now you got show. Hey, 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 you there forgot you. us actually earlier in the show because uh, we talked about your uh, Indianapolis, your Colts. About uh, quarterback uh, Carson Wentz. That's right. Yeah, yeah. somehow you Indiana going to sign him. I heard Indianapolis going to try to get both of them, both right. Carson Wentz and Kenny Galladay, because they need that one touchdown. Yeah, yeah, they need the one touchdown <laughs> for the season. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> now, four more NFL referees officials retire. Everybody, I bet they bringing did. the total to ten thus far this season. I bet they overall, the one that was corrupt and well paid. I don't hey, know, hey, man. Possibly, that, allegedly, 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 oh, yeah. allegedly, allegedly, yeah. allegedly, allegedly, though, allegedly, though, allegedly, 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 Bare it's, funny, it's, funny how, it's funny how they retired after Tom Brady retired. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's, allegedly. 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 Definitely now, allegedly. let's go on the next one. We don't talk about this very much, but Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship announces a Luke Rockhold versus Mike Perry will headline B- BKFC 41 on April 29th. Also on the card is Eddie Alvarez and Chad Mendez. So they're basically picking the UFC fighters that left and coming on there to bare knuckle fight, which is fine. It's with a me. good. I'm not yeah, saying that. Which I like is bare knuckle fine fight. With me, yeah, yeah. bare knuckles is intense, man. Now, uh, yes, that, ooh, ooh. yeah, that too. They could go third. Yeah. They could they could go bare knuckles and then then the slap. Right. Yeah, that, that, that's that's now sure. we don't. Now that we are now on Twitch, we yes. have to announce this, everybody. What's up? Twitch streamer Catal- K- Caitlin, sorry, Caitlin. Tony, Tony the Butcher. Tony the Butcher. Tony the Butcher. Tony the Butcher. Tony the name Butcher. Okay, relax. Tony the Butcher. All right, Caitlin. <laughs> now, I'm Never not going to pronounce this. Can someone pronounce this for me? What's your what nickname? What is it? Amaranth. Amaranth? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Come on, man. Don't y'all know how to announce yeah, the word? No, I'm Ron. I'm Ron. <laughs> I'm just going to call her the Twitcher that looks like Jessica Rabbit. If anyone else needs a picture, I don't know what she looks like. Hey, it's don't dog her, man. Don't dog her, man. Don't dog her. He's not dogging her. You're calling her hot. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now, she's set all to make her boxing place. debut. <laughs> and the reason why I bring this up, everybody, because yeah. she was named the most watched female Twitch streamer in 2022. We're, all coming, right? we're coming for you. Yeah. So we got to we gotta respect. <laughs> uh, we we got to announce and say, yo, congratulations for becoming the most girl, yeah. you know, Twitch streamer in 2022. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People at home are like, yes, what's we got to congratulate her. <laughs> Even though I agree with you, old oh, man, she does look like it's just for publicity. Just say. You know, I don't know, but I'm, it's I'm, good. Hey, I'm, hey, she's getting a hand ring. She saw Jake I Paul do it. Yeah, hey, she's on Jake Ball. Do it. So, really look, if you ask me, Zach the Max, she's giving Scarlett Johansson vibes. So I don't yeah. know. Yeah. 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 Hey. I do agree with old man though. That does give you some Jack Rabbit vibes. <laughs> She doesn't get in that vibe out there like that. I was watching you who yeah. playing Roger Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh, yeah, yeah, Roger Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. My bad. You made it worse. That's right. That's like, that's, a, that's that old, oh that's the old metallic standard right there. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, it's okay. the Terramana. Yeah. Terramana. No. Terramana. No. <laughs> How I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't know. I stuttered. He yeah. stuttered himself when he yeah. tried to talk. Oh. Yes, he did. Ridiculous. I did, but it's because it's part of the song. Yeah. What's, what's, what? Okay. <laughs> Move along. Now, rejects in the booth. We got to discuss some stuff, everybody. The wrestling. We're going to start with wrestling hey, Tom, first. It's for you. Huh? Yeah, Tom. Oh, this was yeah, Tom, we're going to talk about another one of his favorite wrestlers. Yeah, there you go. Another one of favorite wrestlers. Goldberg says WWE owes him a retirement match. Hey, I now, my that. question to you guys, does he really need it? No. No. I what? mean, why not? He's already had so many matches where he's lost. Damn. Who else can you put him against? He lost to Drew Barrymore. Drew, <laughs> Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Barrymore. <laughs> All right. Old I didn't man. know they had a match. Old, old man. man. Butcher? Okay. Drew Barrymore came in and whipped the shit out of Goldberg and she walked Wait, out. wait. Why can't Goldberg fight somebody like Brock Lesnar? Did they already fight? They fought Brock so many them. times. Yeah, oh, they, they did? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brock beat him. Roman beat him. Drew beat him. No, Roman didn't beat him. Yeah. yeah they they fought. Him. Yeah. Uh-huh. I thought they were supposed to wrestle and they didn't get to no, do it. They did. Oh, they yeah, came Goldberg in. Goldberg's 
Yeah, that yeah. too. Pretty that much. Too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I heard money. I heard there was another little clip on there that came on board and said I signed a deal with the devil and they owe me one match. Oh. So I'm like, so I'm like, well, you gotta announce right. that really? Buddy, but is yeah, it you gotta say that that a lot like broke? that. Like, and you're saying that you're saying that allegedly. to the company that's paying you right now, right? I just want to know. It's funny because I signed the deal with them with only one match. So mm-hmm. your match against the Undertaker, your match <laughs> against Brock, wow. your match against Brock Lesnar, your match against Roman, your match against Drew, Drew uh-huh. McIntyre. Yeah, one Just one more time, just for the heck of it, just to take this legacy. Why not Goldberg versus Hulk Hogan? Just screw it. Oh, oh God. shit! I can't oh do anything no more. He he said he can't even feel his legs standing up and walking mm-hmm. around. Why does Why does Vince just get yeah. in the ring with the Goldberg then? Just at that point, why does Vince just get in the ring with Goldberg? Like, yeah, yeah just, <laughs> just give him that. You know what? Yeah, you know what? You're the devil. I'm the savior. Go ahead. I'm just spear right through you. Call it a day. Walk away. You walk into the sunset. You get what you want. Hey, let him deal with Bret Hart. Yeah. Hey, too. go ahead. Another match against Bret Hart. What a match that'll be. Yeah, too. Quick and easy. Yeah, there you go. Then let it, let Bret Hart retire him this time. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Just want to get you guys' intake on that one, but I guess. The, the thesis is, is no, nah, you don't need it. No, you don't need it, you don't need it all. Mean, not need, not even that WrestleMania in Hollywood. No, 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 not even the pre prelim match, not no. even a pre pre watch match. No, no. not no, even, no, not no, even no, a special no, referee. No, maybe? no, no, no. special no. referee. Unless he decides to do like the nope. Ric Flair thing nope. where Ric Flair had like a big event. But look, even now, huh? Tom says. Shut the fuck up, Ken Johnson. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Tom. You <laughs> throw a big round of it. <laughs> All right, let's get into NBA mm-hmm. talk, everybody, because we got to talk about the job mm-hmm. thing. But well, that's next, okay? Not coming up. First thing is, is Mr. Charles Barkley shared his thoughts on the load management, everybody. And I believe this is a good talking point for all of us here at the table that's watched NBA games, right? So he says, you can't make 30, 40, 50 million and then sit out games. I think it's disrespectful to the game. I think it's disrespectful to the fans. Now, before we move on to my little stats that I have on there, Which, what is your intake on that? Do you do you agree with that, old man? I'll well, start with you. Talking about since you're old and you watch that just walk away off. and they don't want to play because their team's losing, or are you talking about like if he's injured? You know, you can't no. be paying somebody 50, 40, 30 million. What he's saying is that there's a lot of players nowadays that are like, I'll play three games and I want to rest two, or I want to rest one. Oh, okay. That's what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. No. So that's what, and they're they're saying that like they 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 have five games in a week. So yep. in those five games, a lot of players are like, look, dude, I'm only trying to play two, three games, and then I'm gonna rest. So it's like that's what he's talking about. Mm, okay. So does he have a point issue three? What's your opinion on that? Yeah, I mean, he has a point. I mean, if you're gonna sit, dude, it's if you're gonna sit here, and if you're gonna complain about the <clears throat> NFL players who. You know, are sore, you know, have almost a torn ACL, but they're still going on and getting tackled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, basically their bodies are getting flipped and torn apart. And yet, all you're going to mostly do is you don't have a meniscus tear. Yeah. You don't have an ACL tear. You don't, you're not hurting yourself. Yeah. All because I'm sore. <gasps> you lift weights. Right. Don't you get sore? Yeah, of course. Do you stop? No. Okay, then cool. Next topic, please. Here he is. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> but that's so true. I agree with on that. I agree. Popovich screwed up the player management. And what do you mean by that? Because, I I mean, I agree. I also agree in a sense of, like, it's disrespectful. I agree with that. I think one thing back in the days, if you really watched those old, old, school, old, old school type of players, they wanted to play for the fans. They felt that I'm in the NBA and I'm going to play for the NBA fans. They deserve for me to go out there if they pay these tickets to come watch me i gotta suck let, it up all right let me talk to you like this you're a chicago bull fan right and, and let's put it your boy is a fan of zach levine right mm-hmm. and you got him last minute tickets to go see zach levine right drive all the way down to united center yeah get sit right here in your in your seats with your popcorn and your, and your, and your chips nachos and everything. little course right. light and you take a seat down and then zach levine is up because he's sore yeah, how is that gonna make you feel? As I would be. Pe- oh. I'll put it to you this way. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not sure on what NBA player said it, but it was on Twitter. I shared it myself. Uh, you want to read the comment? Go ahead if you want. Tom I'll said go. he would rest the stars on away games. Papa Rich would. <laughs> and okay, then Stern said he couldn't do that and only at home games. Okay, wow. that's a good point. But my point is <laughs> that um, what you call it? It's it was said that it's think about it this way as a player is uh, imagine the fan 
Uh, they save up their whole year just to go to one NBA game, yeah. and the main star doesn't play. Not just the fan who's like in the states. They're talking about fans who come from different countries. Yeah, that's true. I, I just look at it. Of, look at look at it that yeah. way. You know, like, yeah. I'm watching uh, the Last Dance, the last whatever it's called with Michael Jordan. That's yeah, right. Last Dance. Yeah. And they uh, there's people that came from Europe, saved right. up all their money, yeah. came from Europe just to, to see Michael, Michael freaking Jordan. Right, and it's not just you know I'm not just kind of <laughs> aiming at Jordan. Me the killer. <laughs> um, but honestly, you got all these fans who come to watch you play. You've done, yeah. you know, they've been doing it from the Lakers dynasty, the Bulls, the Pacers, the Pistons. Detroit Pistons. You know, I'll just respect. So them. you've had all these great teams, and people <clears throat> have come to watch you play. Do you think you're gonna come, you know, and Jordan or even? uh Magic Johnson or even Isaiah Thomas, do you think they sat down all those times knowing that people were paying to watch them play? No. I mean, no. yeah, true. But to Tom's point as well, too, is like if if you're a coach like Pop and you think you know your star players, um, you don't – is it really the player's fault or is it the coach's fault then? That could be one. I think mm-hmm. the one thing Who's I really – asking for the break though right yeah. now. It's not the coaches. It's, 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 it's the players. players. But what I my understanding is is what I took out of it too is like you got to look at towards let's say for instance you already know your team's going to be in the playoffs right yeah so at the end of the season your expectation is not going to be oh they're all going to play that last the last couple of weeks of the season or even the last month mm-hmm. you know what I mean if they're already good set in stone where I'm gonna be in the playoffs and they're still looking pretty well play a few games here and there but your expectation is that they're not going to play five games a week for that right last month I expect that. It's the last month. You want to be fresh for the playoffs. You want to play those type of stuff. But from the beginning of the season all the way until that last month before the playoffs, it's, which is right now, it's it's basically be there, be there for the team if you can. But if you're gonna tell me that, ah oh, man, my hands a little clampy and I can't, you know, shoot well because I'm a little tenderized. Or or or, you know, or one of my one of my freaking favorites is ads. <clears throat> I got lower back soreness. There you go. So or, 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 or 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 uh, you know, I got a movie coming up, so let me sit <laughs> out for a second or two. <laughs> let me put a boot on real fast and you know, milk the media with that hey, and hey, say, hey, hey you know, know, allegedly, oh, no oh, one said no. Oh, okay, we didn't know what was going on. Just so that your voice could crack again like last huh? week. Ken Jones, what do you think about Ken, that? Please, you got something very curious to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, on an 82 game season, okay. Yeah, hit us with uh, facts, please. Steph Curry's salary breakdown. Oh, yeah, this, he's paid, boy. Right? Mm-hmm. 48 million is what he makes this year. It's a lot of millions. 82 games. Mm-hmm. A lot of millions. Salary per month is 4 million per month. <sighs> per week? Nine hundred and twenty-four thousand dollars per week. Damn. Per game, five hundred eighty-six thousand per game. Yikes. Per quarter, a hundred and forty-six thousand dollars per quarter. <clears throat> per minute, twelve thousand two hundred and thirteen. Mm. It ain't about championships, bro. It's about I got to make sure that I'm healthy so I can get this salary next year. That too. It's got nothing to do with winning championships or the playoffs no more. Yeah. Mm. Hey, they probably got uh, Lloyd's of London insurance on them in case something, <laughs> something breaks down. That's true, right? God <laughs> forbid a hair falls off that man's head, right? So sorry, sorry, LeBron, sorry, needs, yeah. LeBron needs to shave off the head. First of all, he's talking about Curry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me, right? Tell me, you uh-huh. four sitting at the table. What up? You don't make. $12,213 a minute. Tell you what, Kent. Right? <laughs> Wouldn't be we sitting at this table. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right. But you might make $12 an hour, and you were like, I, I don't feel like going in today. But there was some old lady who needed your job, needed you to be there today. Yeah, yeah. You know, that you were part. like, you know what? I don't feel like going in today. <laughs> I'll be there next Sunday, right? Uh, you know, maybe I got a little headache after the Super Bowl. Maybe I chewed a bad brownie. I don't know. <laughs> Allegedly. Right? Allegedly. But people Allegedly. depend on you wherever you go. So don't tell me you come from Europe. No, yeah, I, that's I true. don't care. That's yeah. true. I'm making $12,000. That's on an 82 game. So now if I only play 60 games, how much is I'm making like $24,000 a minute? Mm-hmm. Even better for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess it's a good so point. It, 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 as a sports fan, we would like to see that. But you know what? The realistic I, of it. Hey, yeah. if I go to the circus and the trapeze artist isn't there, well, I'm still at the circus. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. I mean, you're still at the game. I mean, yeah, you're still, you're still there. That being said, now speaking on that 82 game thing, I like how you brought that in. It kind of 
spears into the next thing that I was bringing okay. up there. Okay. Top five NBA players that played most 82 games, everybody. Oh, Put this I like this. There wait, we wait, go. hold on. There's somebody missing. No, no, So, the top five at this point right now, number five, sitting at number five, with Michael Jordan did nine seasons. With I, I think it could be number one. Nine, okay. okay. No, no, that's, that's, that's okay. That's no. okay. Eight, most 82 games. Now, Randy <laughs> Smith, God knows who the hell that guy is. Randy Smith? Randy Smith. Play who's more, that guy? Played more 82 game seasons yeah, than Michael played, Jordan. That's yeah, what he great. did. They had 10. He's played 10. Carl Malone, the, the, the mailman, Shots did 10 as well. Okay. A.C. Green, I don't know what the hell that guy is. Yeah, man, for the Lakers. Who? A.C. Green? Okay. A.C. Green? Okay. Played 14. He was a true Iron Man. He's the, oh, yeah, okay. 14. John Stockton with 16. I know who John Stockton Would have been perfect if it had not been that last season I think he got hurt and injured. Yep. Damn. So he probably would have been. been. Yeah, he yeah. Been. But still, he's still sitting at number one, the John freaking Stockton. 82, 16 seasons. Now, Current NBA players, everybody. Top five I put in there for you guys, too, as well. LeBron. Hey, that's your boy. That's your guy. Number one. He's Wait, only what? done one <laughs> season with 82 games. Acknowledge him. Got to stay strong. Got to stay strong. Right. Hey. And I'm, I'm, I looked at the stats, and that boy's only come close to maybe three seasons. He's actually played close to 82. Hey, you know, Tom, All right. Tom, 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 you know. Tom says something. Hold on. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Tom says to shorten the season from Christmas to Memorial Day. Hell no. <laughs> oh, my bad. I said that. I said it in my head. But, <laughs> um, no, I got to disagree with you, Tom. Hell no, man. That's, we, need, we need all NBA all year. <laughs> That's just me. No, though. tied up with LeBron. <laughs> Kevin Durant would also won 82 KCC. <sighs> now, with Giannis Curry and Jason Tatum. Oh, send that zero, everybody. Yeah. Zero. Wow. That's so that tells me with all these guys that pay, get paid the big bucks, it is what it is. Don't expect them to see. Don't expect them to play all all the games every yeah, every season. What, what do you mean? So they're smarter than AC Green and John Stockton. They yep. make their money with the playing forty games. That too. I I mean, yeah. You know That's what I'm good. saying? Yeah. Tom makes a good point too. Money money talks, if you will. You know. Yeah. No. Tom said no one watches it before Christmas. I do. I definitely I do. do. I definitely am a number one contender watching <laughs> it. Consistent, religiously, almost. I'll check out there you go. There you go. Definitely. Now yeah. let's get out the next one ahead because that was some good stuff. Giannis yeah. takes a jab at Durant, everybody. Y'all saw that? Phil Wallace was not listening to this. Woo! Did he poke a foot at him? Yeah. So this is what... <laughs> <laughs> now this is what Giannis says. Giannis takes the jab. He says, you keep joining super teams to win an NBA title. How about we work out together sometime so I could teach you Ooh. how to carry your own no, team? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. <gasps> now, my question is, Zach the Mac, I'm going to start with you on this one. Oh, does, he, does Giannis have a point? Giannis does have a point. TBA, TBH. He does have a point. Okay. Um, Speak your mind. Speak your mind, kid. Thank you. He does have a point because Giannis has the stats to prove it, sadly. I mean, I say it because I'm not crazy about the Bucks, but I am a Giannis fan, and I know a Greek freak when I see one. That right. boy's a dominant player, mm -hmm. and he has all facts to back it up because he sent KD packing, crying last year. Oh. So, yeah, he definitely oh. can talk it. And oh. you know what? And to add to his point, <gasps> this is probably, for your stats, this is probably what, KD's fourth super team he's joined? Ooh. Maybe? I'm you know joined, what I'm saying? He's joined the Warriors. Join the Warriors. The Nets. The Nets. Um, now he's joining the Suns. The Suns. Third. 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 He, he didn't necessarily join OKC. You can't say he joined that. It's just... He, did, he helped was in no, that one. With the Timberwolves. No, he no. never went to the Timberwolves. No, he didn't no that was those teams. No, those are the teams you're right. You're right about that. Three teams. Three teams. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'm that, three. No, I mean, well, because I'm thinking OKC. All-Star. I think I did an All-Star team. Well, uh, other than that, because OKC is, was a super team at that time. They developed. Oh, I'm thinking of when OKC had Harden, Westbrook, and him. So technically, go. okay, yeah. So three, three super you know, teams really, right. yeah. yeah. Um, But yeah, to add to this point, though, yeah, Giannis has one. He's calling him out. Giannis is, Giannis can say it like that, too, because Giannis has never left the Bucks. The Bucks. Drafted him, never left, and he built himself up. So he's and he beat him. Yeah. And he beat him one and on one. He beat him. Well, he yes. beat him one on one. Giannis never, and he got a title, MVP, Finals MVP. He have to say talk and trash. I the boy you, dropped you the forty piece in the so finals. Like, yeah, he's not playing. I mean, KD's a scorer, yeah, but at the same time, KD would not have his one ring. <laughs> two, if, two rings. Two, two rings. If they both weren't for Stephen Curry, that's right. That's all I gotta say. So okay. I mean, you can't say that about really Giannis. I mean. Oh, not at all. I no, mean, Johnny. Holiday's a baller, but I mean, he's only been to one All Star game. Uh, what's the dude? Uh, Milton. Middleton. Milton. He's a shooter. Definitely can shoot the lights out. But I mean, he's again, was on the team from the beginning. Yeah, he's been on the team since before Giannis was on the team. So, mm -hmm. 
Um, KD oh. is this, yeah, man. That's yeah. what about yeah. you, SG3? What do you think about that? He's got a point. Does he have a point? I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, he's he has a point, point, but at the same time, I'm taking this moment just to take a shot at him. Uh huh. You know who else can't say this though? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and guess, baby. He doesn't. He, he doesn't need that at all. Ooh. Giannis says, Giannis says, says, how about we work out together and have some time that can teach you to carry your own team? Okay, so where is LeBron gone where there was already a team? That's a good Mm. point. That's a good point. That's good, a good point. point. That's a good point. I maybe, agree with you on a good point all, there. Maybe saying. Miami. Maybe Miami. They had who's a good system. First? See who's side first. They, Dwayne Wade was, Dwayne was, was there, there already. Was there. Yeah. Was, they were working a but deal on the Yeah, you're right, though, because Chris Boss did come. And then, yeah, yeah. And ever since then, people were going to Miami. Yeah. They couldn't win. You can say it about they when couldn't he came. win, nah, but nah, they're nah, going there. Nah, because they only had, yeah, we just had a discussion, too. Yeah, Kevin Love and Kyrie. And other team members were going there. And then you could even say that he reversed it and carried them to the finals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, just to add on to your point. Just add on. Okay? Just add on to your but, point. <laughs> but he's gone to places and then he built the team around him. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's nice. like, good good like time. 30 minute, like 30 minute yeah. time break, real quick, everybody. We got to shout out to the number one and only Dynasty Barbershop, everybody. So please make sure if you guys go on booksy.com and get a uh, haircut. So I got my face so for Dynasty Barbershop <laughs> on there on Booksy. Looking you guys crispy. get your nice little thing Looking in Antioch, everybody. Yes. You know what? I'm actually going to peek. I'm actually going to shoot to the kids, you know, right. like you did the last time uh-huh. <laughs> where you were talking about that one bloody game. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's, that's all I'm going to yeah. shoot like for the kids. <laughs> yeah. He actually has a new system over there. That's where right. It has like Nintendo 64. Right. And you can play stuff like old school Mario Kart. Oh. And you can also play the old school Sega Genesis Star games. Star Fox. Such as F-Zero. Sonic. Zero. Yes. And the NBA Jam. Yes. Oh, ta- and Crazy Taxi for the other one. Oh, I love yes. Crazy Taxi. Uh, Genesis. Like, I yeah, no, it's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> I just want to throw this That's in right. there, too. I just exactly. want to throw this in there, too. Uh, New York Knicks and Boston Celtics are in double overtime. Oh, my God. Anyways. You saw that? Yeah, like double anyways, overtime? Thank you for, thank We're you on for NBA talk. Oh, I know, but that's the next thing after the, the, the presentation. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank y'all for joining in. Yes. Kevin Durant could say, hey, say all you want, Giannis, but look at the money I got. Oh, that's true. That's true. Fourth in the league for salary, you're number seven. That's true. That's a good point. So, but if I was Giannis, I'd just be like, but well, what size are them shoes, though? Yeah. <laughs> what size are shoes, though? <laughs> but I would have said right back to him. I feel you on the money, but uh, you might want to get, you might want to get a size smaller so you can, can actually exactly. hit the line. Exactly. He can forever yeah. say that, though. Yeah, he that's can. That's other that's than that. But right. that, that money, though. That money, though. Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. All right. Dive into the next thing, everybody, real quick. Now, y'all been wanting to talk about this for a while. So, so the investigation surrounding a brawl between the NBA star John Morant and teenage and the teenage boy is coming out to light, everybody. So, that being said, if you don't know, here's the story that occurred. And I got this from TMZ, everybody. I've been going around there. So, shout out to TMZ. Shout out TMZ, shout y'all. Out hey, okay, we'll this, take sponsors. You know, that. we love you. So, <laughs> the boy is claiming he accidentally hit Ja in the face after throwing a ball in his direction and the NBA star guard retaliated by hitting him with the closed fist and knocking him to the ground. Allegedly? Right? Or, 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 or this is what he's been stating. So, yeah. A little, bit, a little bit of a legend. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit there. Now, <laughs> so on a, a Wednesday. A little sprinkle. <laughs> now, this past Wednesday, not that was basically coming out. Not only did the teen accuse Miranda of punching him at least 12 times. Damn. Which then resulting in a large knock, not, I apologize, not, on yeah. his head. But the 23-year-old also went into his house and returned with the gun in his waistband. Oh, shit. With his hand on the weapon and showed the team this weapon. I think it's funny how he hit him 12 times and his jersey number is 12. <laughs> <laughs> Put that out there. <laughs> but damn. That's crazy. John, John Moran's going to be that fool, ain't he? <laughs> He's gonna be that fool. So, to my knowledge, though, I did wake up and I saw. All I know is that I saw the pictures of uh, NBA's. Like, I think they want they wanted to get him in trouble for showing because he showed it on Instagram Live with the Mm -hmm. gun. He flexed on Instagram Live, you know, with the gun, this and that. Are you serious? Um, I didn't know. I didn't know that it was prior to that though. So yeah, that must have happened, and then he must have. First question: How old is this kid that he punched? But, he, teenager. but well, yeah, it's a teenager. It's a teenager. But, yeah. but even at that, is my thing. You 13? 
You're, you're a 23 so year old and being a gun you. Yeah. to a kid. Thank you. Right. You're a 23 year old NBA star. Exactly. What the hell all-star. are you doing? NBA all star. What the hell are you doing fighting I, a teenage boy and overreacting this way? What I, the hell are you doing? I can kind of see. I'm going to play a little bit of the devil's advocate in this one, and it's terrible, but literally I can see why. Mm hmm. John Moran's been trying to pose as this one tough dude this entire time he's been in the league. That's true. Mm-hmm. So yes, many yes. people have been calling him stupid for playing in that. Yeah. <laughs> right, he's like, right, right. Shit, Sharp, hard. especially you know, called him out. Even, with, even, with, the whole, like, even with the whole like eyebrow and stuff. Yeah. At this point, though, I can finally see where he's like, they don't want to take me tough. They don't want to take me tough. They want to take me as a man. So here, I'm about to show it. And to that, a kid? Thank yeah. you. Thank That's you. what I'm Thank saying. Like, I get, I get your point. If you, uh, if you were uh, going to go ahead, yeah. I get your point. But at the same time, though, hey, man, when you have been – Basically, if you want to call it bullied, yeah. you want to be if you've been bullied or called out all this time, eventually something in you is gonna say, Hey, I gotta show them that I that I'm that I'm a man of my word. I gotta show I'm them not a punk. Hard. I'm not I gotta show I gotta them show I'm not them. a punk. I ain't a punk. But what life does that put you in? You're playing. yeah, bro. Okay. That, no, it's and not it doesn't yeah. against you. I understand no, no, no. what you're saying yeah. and I agree. But you are a 23 year old man, mm-hmm. you're grown man, and now you're telling me you want to. Go full on gangster. You want to be a gangster about it. <laughs> Thug life. Sorry. Thug life and all that shit. Right? All right, cool. He's going to put some tattoo right here from Tupac. Yeah. Thug life. What, 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 so what, my what, thing what, is, though, it, okay, so my thing is, so that happens, and then what possesses you to go to Instagram live? Because you want to show it off. Yeah. You, you like, want you gotta flex. To, yeah, yeah, these new kids nowadays want to flex on social media. I'm a gangster. I'm a, I'm a this to that. Yeah, yeah, let me go. Let me let me go. Show what I'm gonna do with this to this kid who probably can't even defend himself. Yeah, 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 you're cool. My you're thing cool, is big guy. to be the sg 3s devil kid. Why not bring out the gun on Shannon Sharp? Why not the tw- what? What? <laughs> why bring it out of the kid? Like you should be like, all right, I got something for you, Shannon. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and Shannon Sharp. Hey, yeah, and even yeah, that, Shannon Sharp would still look at it and be like, man, you still ain't going to do it. You still ain't going to do it. You still ain't going to do it. You ain't about this life. Shannon Sharp is the size of four John Moran. <laughs> For real. <laughs> and how old he is, he's about tw- he like four the times the size. The kid was 17, 17 years old. 17, 17 years he's old. He's Come still on. young. I mean, Come on, kid. Wild, man. I, I, I agree. I, look, I, I get what you're talking about when it comes to like, you know, the him, bullying aspect yeah, the that. bullying aspect of him wanting to show out and be like, all right, I got I, you're testing me. Now I got to show out. But the other thing is, is that but you're I, you're a grown man. You know, for a fact, they're coming for you. So watch your tone. Watch where you're going at. That, but go ahead. That kid can retire. You know, soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's true. That kid yeah. would never yeah. have to work. Could. Go, the NBA puts them through this. They yes. put them through classes because of this. There you go. Right? That's true, yeah. Before that, the, and when they're a rookie, they put them through classes to know how to deal with things like this. Mm-hmm. So for whatever reason, he didn't want to follow what they taught. Exactly. So guess what? Well, well, now that that, that being said, Kids do you think mm-hmm. he should? Do you he believe should. that 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 being said, with whole pickup games, that NBA stars need to stick away from pickup games, if not do pickup games amongst each other as t- players? Then at I just, this point, I just feel that you know what, if you're gonna do a pickup game. Because they have so many highlights of KV of KD doing a pickup game at. Uh, at uh, yeah, a bunch Drew of Drew League, League players. I mean, yeah, like, yeah all of a lot and of players. Kevin Durant is pulling up, and the fans are excited to see him play. Mm-hmm. You know, because you're not because again, Park these are the, these are these mm-hmm. are fans Grand who Park, unfortunately Rucker, can't afford Rucker Park. Rucker Park yeah, They're, these are fans who can't afford an NBA ticket. So for them to see Kevin Durant come in, just drop sixty on you because he can. Yeah, and, and then it's like, play yo, game. dude, this is this is this yeah. is the best thing for me because I don't have to pay. X amount of dollars. Seventy thousand dollars in order to see you front. I'm seeing you right here, front and center. Yeah, and, and yet not, you're sh- not just Kevin Durant. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you off. Good. But he's also played against other NBA officers that have been in those leagues. So these people that can't afford tickets to go to the main game, you still get something good off of it. Yeah, yeah. I think well, I think they I think NBA players can obviously still play games like you know pickup games, but it. Most NBA players hold themselves at a certain standard, and I think Ja Moran just was not holding himself at a standard at the time. Ja point. Moran doesn't have a standard. A- apparently not. Yeah, like apparently it. not. He he is hot headed <laughs> and he's young guns, uh, pun intended. Uh, it's just it, it's pretty wild. I didn't. I wouldn't. I, I, I Me personally, I, I, I thought. That. Yeah, me personally, I thought more of him. So yeah. that does. Kinda, last year, uh, I really. No, last I year did. We were I talking really about did. this. My thing was last year we were talking about this, and we were talking about how well he was playing. Yeah, like don't get and me wrong, I, I like a shit talker. If you're gonna play, you gotta talk. You gotta right. walk it and talk. Yeah. And I love that but about his gameplay. There's but it's levels. Just a, yeah. But this happening outside of the NBA world just right. tells me that your attitude isn't in check. Yeah. You need to check your attitude 
at the door in to and make off sure. the court. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You so, know where you're at now. You know where you're at in the limelight of celebrities or amongst amongst the crowd of members and whatnot. You got to understand that people are going to try to test you every step of the way. So you got to control your freaking composure. Plain you, and simple. You, you don't have this on here. No excuses. But, hold on, wait. You don't have this one on here. But don't forget Joey Bosa. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, you know, right after play. right after the NFL, right, right after the after the, the the playoff game, where he got the, mad, where he goes mad, he went well, on. No, no, no. So basically, he's gonna go see his brother. Yeah, Nick Bosa. Yes, right. And he's in the parking lot, and this one fan. There were, he phone, was walking to the stadium, walking, walking to the stadium with his phone out like this, and he's like, Bosa, Bosa, you yeah. can you. Why yeah. are you doing here? This is a playoff game. Shouldn't you yes. be at home and watch this one? Right, right, right. And then They're going hardcore. Joy and, was going right back. Joy, at him. Joy goes back to him, and then eventually, like. He's coming close to dude. Yes. And the girl who's right there, I don't know if it's his girlfriend. It was sister, a few people that were pushing him out the and way. And then they, they basically were like, oh, dude, hold back. Yes. Like, hold your temper. Hold, right. Hold your composure. Right. And then he goes, I could afford to sit in this game. He's mm-hmm. like, so could I, mm-hmm. motherfucker. That's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at this point, a lot of people just don't understand. Keep. Your emotions in check. Right. Yeah. Yes. And at this point, I feel that John Moran, dude, don't get me wrong, John Moran can ball. Yeah. John Moran can ball. Facts. I'm not going to take that away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He nice. Yeah, he nice. But at the same time, though, it's like when you try to sit here and, and say, I'm hard, yeah. I'm a thug, I'm this yeah. and that. That's when you're trying to take it too far. Yeah, that's yeah. not necessary. How about you're just a fucking basketball player and right. be a dog? Play, and just, play your and role. Just be, and just be just your dog. Play your just role. Be a dog yeah. on that court. Yep. And if you want to, if you want to be a thug, be like, and I know you hate the name, but be like a LeBron James who does more for the community. Yeah. Hey, I always said LeBron has always been well in the community. Yeah, I respect that's that factual. part. That's factual. I respect that John part. could have pulled out I a stack and been like, I'll buy this play, court. But I respect his, you know, outside. Ball with your money. Like, like, not, it's not even about the Put his money, money you know without this. The kid is 17. You know what? Hey, listen here, young fella. I get the yeah. fact that you're over here. You're trying, right. to, talk, you you're trying to talk to him. Like, you're trying to say what you got to say. But at the same time, look, bro. All I am is a basketball player, and I'm here to help you out. Look how, look how, I, look, I, how look how nice that sounds. Yeah, I could have thought of 10 things. I'm like, that's why you win in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. That's right. that's, 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 <laughs> or even playing it simple scores on him from far away. Hey, kid, let me ask you: You're in the basketball team. You're not. Oh, okay, cool. Then stay with your ass. Nah, John Moran's a, a dunker. Husband. I would have just dunked on him with the rest that of the points. Like, I would have made him a poster. Yeah, yeah. All you had to do, oh, yeah. Let me sign that for you, little boy. Come here. Like <laughs> that's what I would have done. You want to go get a? All right. Yeah, I know that. That's pretty sad. That's well, what, like I said, dude. Because well, a lot of these players nowadays, they keep thinking like, oh, I'm in, I'm, I'm in the NBA. I gotta act tough. I'm I gotta tough act like a certain. I gotta act a certain. So way. at a certain point, job was just kind of asking for it, bro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Let's move on to the next thing. Women versus men referees, everybody. So are the men referees not (laughs) as accountable as the women? SG3, I'll start with you on this one. What is this for? We had a little discussion about this. Yeah. Not not even just 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 NBA. NBA plus NBA, NCAA, football, football, all that around. All around. Because I don't know if you remember last year when the the NFL introduced women referees. Mm -hmm. Everyone was going ham. Meme City USA. Yes. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Why did you throw a flag? I don't want to talk about it. Why'd you throw the flag? I don't want to talk about it. So you're not going to talk about it? I just can pick up the flag and walk away. Like They made so many memes about the women who are becoming reps. And it's like, well, the video that Tony the Kid shared with us, yeah, mm-hmm. but the they NC, showed, they showed the head referee yeah, mm-hmm. about the NCAA fight. They showed the head referee there, and she literally pinpointed at this point, this person came in. She was supposed to be off the court. Yep. She came in and she's ejected for this. This person, this point, this person came in and they were now we're not supposed to be playing either. She got ejected for this. This person is getting ejected because she charged when she wasn't when she's basically was supposed to do a check in pass. Mm-hmm. This was getting a technical because she shoved the ball in her face. So so she, freaking crisp. Right? Down, to the, That's down, down to, to the team. That's badass. Yep. And yet when you saw the the what was it? What game did I sent you? I think it was the. Michigan, Michigan versus Michigan versus Texas game or something like that. Oh, something like that. Let me look too, at it. Right? Yeah. And there was a brawl. Yeah, I remember yep. that. I remember and that. The bench brawl. doesn't clear out. Right. But all the men, all the men, all the man referee says, "Yeah, four technicals," and just walks away. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, ain't your job supposed to be like, well, this person was basically kneeing, playing on the floor. Well, I mean, any That's... married man knows the woman's gonna be more specific. You, know <laughs> you gotta know that person. Don't you? <laughs> that is true. Every man knows the woman's gonna be a little bit more technical and memorable about what occurred at memorable precise is... times. Exactly. Precise so... times, exact moments, exact time frames. So it's like, but okay. uh, to answer, hey, so where are you gonna go? I don't know. What are you gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> you guys gonna eat? I don't know. 
I hey, hope. I'm hungry. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Who's going to be there? I don't know. That, I, I'm talking that, about it right isn't, now. Isn't that a conversation between you, you and your wife? <laughs> that is yes, that exactly it. Other way around. When, when they're that. asking, it was the, let's see what game it was. Your Michigan versus Carolina game. Yeah. Four Michigan. players, four players, four technical fouls are called. Not not no one ejected. It was a little altercation, but four players just got technicals. Well, look, the player yeah. from the player from Carolina, he was on the floor. Yep. Big buddy from, from Wolverines is over here almost throwing him knees to the yes. face. Yes. So it's like, all right, cool. I can see why the guy on the ground is upset. Why is he going to get a technical? Mm-hmm. Well, honestly, why is he getting a technical? Right. Interesting. Yeah. Because yep. he got up and he's like, dude, you're basically about to knee me in my face right in, like, right in my nose. What right. the hell? Exactly. And the other guy was like, oh, I'm just doing it to be funny. And this has been building up all game. So our and then buddy referees. gets gets body gets body checked. Yep. Hmm. And guess what? I think he's one of the ones also that received the technical. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. And you know what's funny is in the NFL, now that's when a- the woman when the woman referees were there, yep. How come they? How come no one said anything after that? Even the commentators were saying this is a very good officiated game. There you go. So but that yeah, just tells me that the, the expect more women referees being on board. I just feel that you know what should be better. at this point. And my dad and I had a great conversation about this, and he said the main reason why is because S- a S- lot SG2. of two, SG two, yeah, SG two, not SG three, SG two, SG one is his father. SG two, that's why I said his father. My dad, his dad, SG two. Just sit down. Yeah, <laughs> too much of this going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just yeah. like last week. So, uh, go ahead. keep thinking, bro. So, so like, like, basically, I was talking to my dad, and my dad said, you know what? The main reason why is because a lot of men cannot see women in a, in a position of power. It's the it's just a different change. Different That's change, crazy. atmosphere. A lot That's of that crazy. a lot of that was back in the past. All right, old man? Right. All right. Anyways. Well, well I'm about, the oh. about the woman, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, okay. <laughs> How many times have I pushed? Women's Royal Rumble. How many times have I told you all Facts. about that? That's true. Facts. I've been pushing that shit for a long ass time. I wanted to see a Women's Royal Rumble. Come on, man. Come That's on, right. Queen of the fucking ring. How That's many times have I said I want to see Queen of the ring? That's we true. got King. Why can't we get a queen out there? That's right. Now we can. Now we got all, yeah. all the queen wrestlers. We finally got girls main eventing WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Ready? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm Main eventing. Drunk. Main <laughs> eventing. But what I'm saying is we're finally letting the girls show that they could be in the spotlight. Right. Not just as boxers, not just as wrestlers. That's the problem, though. You yeah. call them girls. They're women. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, women. You do got to watch that You do got to watch that Don't forget, oh, man, love the, up, love the ladies. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. So that's, that's the thing. You finally can have women. It's a good point. No, yeah, it's always women. The spotlight, you know, you can have women be referees. You can have women become world champions right. in boxing. They can main event boxing. They can main event UFC. Mm-hmm. We haven't done much for them when it comes to basketball. Facts. And they have some amazing basketball games. Yep. Hell yeah. Soccer. I've seen a girl get knocked out, hit, fucking kicked right in the head. Damn. Doesn't go, stays down, ambulance doesn't pick her up. No. This woman gets up, looks at the other girl, says, okay, you knocked me down. I'm about to score a goal on you. Period. She did. Mamba mentality. Not just like that. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, Mamba. I think, uh, Mamba. <laughs> <laughs> a man gets kicked in the head, falls down, plays like he just lost his whole entire life. Hey, <laughs> sure though. Hey, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 exactly right, goes man. Goes home, probably goes to the bench, you know, goes to the hospital or something. The next day, oh, he he's good. He can come back. That's my problem with it, is that We've been always joking about women, how a woman, oh, I broke a nail. I can't do it. Yeah. I'm like, you're bullshitting me. I've seen women put on some fucking fights in the ring. Exactly. Some boxing, some greats on there. I agree with you on that one. Yeah. All right, let's dive into boxing. Actually, now speaking about that, let's dive into boxing stuff. We got to talk about Mayweather's claiming tickets are going, tickets going on sale too late was to blame for his poor attendance. With his fight against Aaron Chalmers, everybody. Can we get a womp womp for that one? Yeah, can we get a womp Please. womp? Thank you. <laughs> what do you mean too late? What does he mean by that? Because he, he said in the UK, and they did an interview with him. They, he said in the UK, they announced the fight, and the tickets didn't go on sale until like one or two weeks later. Okay. So my question is, does he have a point, or is it just the fans are tired of seeing Mayweather? Number I'll leave this one to old man. Yeah, I'm going to start with you this one. Does he have a point, or is it because fans are tired? I think fans are just tired of him not fighting real fighters. There you go. Oh. You, we're all talking about Jake uh, Jalen Hall, Jake, Jake Paul. Jake, Jake Paul. Paul, yeah, him. I'm happy for this. <laughs> <laughs> I sure have one minute. What are you talking about? Just go ahead, man. 
Okay. Yes. Only be here, man, all day. Thank you. Yeah, it, Jake. It affects like three of them. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Rabbit. Both of those guys. <laughs> oh, those guys oh, get yeah. together, have a meeting. <laughs> yeah, Jack Ryan. Jake Ball. Jake Ball. Jake Ball. Fool. Jake Ball. All right, okay. anyway, this is what. Nice we talked about. Jake Paul, you know, Jake Paul's out here. Uh-huh. Oh, he's knocking out guys, but he never knocked out a fighter. When he finally gets into a ring with the real fighter, what happened? He loses. He did lose. He, he did lost. lose. And he, he did not get his ranking. And he not get his... If you want to put an exhibition match, call out guys that you know that will be good friends with you. Sugar Shane Mosley put on a hell of an exhibition match with you when you both fought each other. Hell, fight Why can't Mike you Tyson. do it again? Mm. Call out... Uh, Tyson. Ty- call out Tyson. Uh, I think he himself. It's him. Nope. nope. I think he he's promotes promoting. himself, he's right? He promotes himself. himself. Yeah. Oh, so if he's promoting his shows, then how the hell did the whole ticket sales go on sale last minute? How did that happen if he's the promoter, if he's the headliner? That's because he said these are new guys. Oh, these are new guys. Oh, okay. That's what it is. So now let's move on to the next one. That's ridiculous. Uh, Teddy Atlas says, Jake Paul gained credibility after a loss against Tommy Fury. Yeah, he got <laughs> credibility of being a good liar. <laughs> Yeah, I credit him for that. Does Teddy have a point? Nah, man, he actually he got credibility on my end. He did. What? No, no, no. Well, okay. In your who head, got you know. credibility? Tommy or did J- Jake? When did when did Tommy knock him down? I'll wait. <laughs> oh, he did it. Okay, you, cool. I mean, do you really expect him to Tommy knock him slipped, down? Though Jake didn't knock him down. No, no, no. Jake got him good. Jake, listen. What if you don't believe me? Watch the same. Watch the same punch. And Manny Pacquiao versus Mar- Juan Manuel Marquez four. Pacquiao does the same thing and drops so him what down. Is the same you, slippery uh, ring or something? Is that what you're trying to say? ask a very important question. When Sergio Martinez lost to Miguel Cotto, what was Sergio Martinez's excuse? And you and yeah. I knew what he yeah. went through. I, he didn't give an excuse. At this point, listen, I'm not saying the fact that because of the excuse he gave, I'm going to I'm gonna okay with it. But what the performance he put in that ring, he would gain my respect. Yeah. As a performer, he gained my respect. As, as a boxer, he gained my respect because guess what? He went up against a boxer. And guess what? He put he gave it to the boxer. So do you think he should be given the? Um... He shouldn't be given a rank. Oh, okay, that was okay. my biggest question. Okay, but, but you got to but he got this respect. Now he, he can actually respect. come in for fighting for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I mean, if I got, I, 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 got, I, I, I got a gag on that because it's like no, why? Because it's a made up fight. This is a this was a made up fight in general. This fight was made up. You cannot sit here and tell me that Jake Paul gained any credibility on this part because you knew he paid for the fight in the first place to fight the guy. Mayweather did that with a lot of his fights, but yet he still is one of the number one pound for pound. Yeah, but Mayweather and Paul are in two different uh, realms. Different regimes and different realms. two different realms. Different realms. Same thing, dude. Now, my thing is that if Jake Paul actually signs a contract in like a DAZN, in like a Showtime Boxing and whatnot, and starts fighting boxers like that in those regimes, and he holds his own for at least 10 fights, and last is like that, I can sit here and say he got some credibility. To get to the T of the point, Mayweather can do this in his career because he's getting older. Paul has no excuse. You're a youthful May- motherfucker. Mayweather, Mayweather did the same thing when he's getting younger. And he yeah. handed and he had picked I, He had picked it. I don't know. But Mayweather, he, 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 at this point, let me ask you one more thing, yeah. though. Why is Tommy Fury barely getting a ranking because he beat Jake Paul? Well, that's a better question, yeah. That's a good question. That's a better question would have been. I think because he paid for it. Oh, I think in my mind is okay. Yeah, here's the uh, here's your answer. And I'm going to be here to pay for it. That's what it was. Hey, hey, Tommy Jake, Fury money, and man. Jake Paul were going both going to fight each other. The who was it? The commission for one of the belts, mm-hmm. uh, WBC, was it? Yeah. Probably. He went out and said, "If Jake Paul wins, I'm going to give him a ranking." Yep. Where's Tommy Fury at? A man who has actually gone to the amateurs. A man who's actually pushed to be right where he is. Mm-hmm. Why is he not getting a ranking if he wins? Yeah, that well, that, that that's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They did it after the fight. They gave him a ranking after that fight. I'm like, really? They're barely giving him a ranking when he was 8-0 and all already? Right, pay for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. In a, in a, yeah, go in that show. But I'm an Let's move it on. Let's move it along. We've got two topics on hand that I wanted to talk to you guys about before we end the show. Because we have like, like seven minutes or so, give or take, I think. Allegedly. Six. Allegedly. It's, it's, there you go. Now, fans on Twitter, everybody, are expressing mm-hmm. their dislike with... Your Ra- Raya Sh- Sh- Shahida, Tony Shahidi. The Butcher. Shahidi. That's right. Again. Sorry, my bad, my bad, girl. The girl mm-hmm. from uh, uh, Grownish, okay. The girl mm-hmm. who's headlining the main character in Grownish, as well as uh, Blackish. Really mm-hmm. good show. Really good show. Oh, isn't that as- a coincidence? Yeah, right. Good, good stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Happy that shit. <laughs> as the new Tinkerbell. All right, everybody. 
Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing: <laughs> is casting is casting character from one race to another race. Such a bad thing. Yes. It, oh, oh, yes. Uh, In white America, it is. <gasps> what did I say? Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It is. Zach the Mac. It did is. you just. Let, let me mute that. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is a problem. It is. To be honest, it is. Because God forbid they do a reverse role thing with the same color as an. Uh, a, a God forbid a black character has to play a white person. It's still going to be frowned upon, right? It's still going to be frowned upon. Still going to be It's a problem. problem. It's, no matter what. frowned upon the one the white person does it with the black guy, right? No, no. Coming to America. Mm. Great. Coming to America. Right? Great. Yes. Great example. You know, put a couple of white guys in there. Great example. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't even think of anyone that It just do doesn't it. fit, <laughs> right? It, it just doesn't, doesn't fit, right? They it doesn't put fit. put Adam Sandler look, look. in the role yeah. of Eddie Murphy. I got a better one for you. I got a better one for you. Black man can't jump. Just doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> just doesn't fit on the shoe, does it? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. For that, oh, even okay. if you, oh, you, know, you can't. I mean, yeah. that's good. just that things be, are just yeah. kind of right. Yeah, no, no. that shit hey. don't make no sense. Hell no. That Spike Lee joined the me that me and Phil want to go watch. Instead of black Klansmen, white Klansmen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah. God forbid that drops, right? God for, right. You know, it just uh, to answer your question. Shout out with the white guy. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> That one, uh, that one musical, um, the play, the Hamilton, the Hamilton, the Hamilton oh, play. Hamilton, Hamilton, they didn't yeah. bother people watching that when the, some of the presidents were black. And, and the funny thing is that yeah. actually, it, you know, the crazy thing was no people it were loving that how it was. Right. There yeah, were people were loving it, that a twist. But I mean, and it's yes, based yeah, on historic. Yeah. Uh, it's based on history, like real history. Ham- yeah. Hamilton yeah. actually was part of. It's uh, a good point. I mean, I think George Washington. Yeah. There. It, if you. To, in my opinion, yeah. In my opinion, drop mm-hmm. uh, your knowledge, kid. Yeah, please, please. With, a, with a fictional show, who gives a shit if they're green, purple, red, or blue? Facts. Mm-hmm. If people are getting hung up on the color of Tinkerbell, don't go watch a damn show. That's the mm-hmm. simple. That's the biggest point, though. Stay, and it, it, stay in your hole and don't, don't come out. Yeah, yeah it's like, I've been listening to, because that's uh, the same thing as what okay. they're saying is about Holly Berry, Haley Bailey. Sorry, as a new mermaid, there was not liking that when they, we saw the trailer for it. I like that. It. Oh, I definitely liked it. I was fine with it. I'm cool. I'm good. It's I'm a cool different with it. twist. It's She's a different a makeup. Yeah. I'm cool That's with it. It's a voice. different twist. It's a different regime. It's a different, just different thing. I, I think a lot of fans have to understand It's something. like, um, for me, I hate to interrupt you. But no, no, you don't. But go ahead. I want to like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I'm going to talk. He's looking, he's looking dead eyes with me as he's doing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's fine. Go ahead. Now that I push you out of the way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Batman. I'm a big fan of Batman. <laughs> Uh, Bruce Wayne has been portrayed on the Spotify show um, by the guy who plays um, Commissioner Gordon in the Batman movie. Mm-hmm. He's voiced Batman on it. Okay. Uh, the guy from uh, Wakanda Forever, the one that's like, but just because you know we live in mountains doesn't mean we can't read books. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, the yeah. comedian guy. Yeah. Funny guy yeah. He also voices Batman on another podcast I listen to, and both men do such a great job as. The Cape Crusader. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for season two of both men to come out with the season two episode. I don't, I don't want to bust your bubble, old man, but this is a cartoon series, right? No, this actually um it's a voice, it's in comics, it's a voice, but, a voice tone. but oh, this okay. is actually a voice casting, so I listened to them. Oh, okay, never mind then. My bad. I was my head was somewhere else. Okay, that's yeah, a good point. That's yeah, a good point. When you think of Batman, you don't think of black. No. That's kind of what I was getting at, though, because I was like, if it's a cartoon, is Batman still not white in the cartoon? Well, here's yeah. the thing. Remember when they did Batwoman and they changed that to a black, black character? Yeah. It just didn't regime with the rest of the folks. People didn't tune in, which is why that show got canceled. It's a bad to say, but some, yeah. it, some regimes are not really into that. And it sucks. And because You can, you can yeah. say the truth, and that some is several. Yeah, yeah it's several. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It cool. sucks. It sucks that the society has to look at that picture but but we can't we can't sit there we got to change it around a little bit we have to understand that back days that there were certain people in power that wanted certain looks to be out on the tv world yeah. now it's a changed. lot of people still want that they, they right. still yeah, do yeah, agree no, it's, still, so, uh, it's still these characters uh, they, well here's the thing <laughs> remember no 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 not necessarily but remember <laughs> friends was supposedly care. a ripoff to a living a living color oh, no living, living single living single living, living single, single. Living was a ripoff, so it's like okay, you have living single, you have friends. What was what sold more? Yeah, that too. That too. Corny now, Cox. That too. Yeah. All right, before we end the show, everybody, because of the whole thing about you know what's it called, Adam Sandler being dubbed as king of comedy for the Nickelodeon Awards, 
My question to you guys is who is your king of comedy? Oh man. Red Fox. Oh, Richard I said Pryor. That. Oh, Eddie God. Murphy. I'm going generations. Oh, Red Fox. Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. Eddie uh -huh. Murphy. Mm -hmm. You yeah. want to start with him? Dave Chappelle. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, he just went. Yeah. Then that's it. Those okay. are my four kings right now. Top five. Well, I, I, I said oh, king. Five. I said I one. To probably go with. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, if we put TV show, TV series King, I would have to put Bill Cosby on. I'm sorry. That's the way yeah. to still do. That I would have to go with John more. Ritter. I always love John Ritter's comedy. King Comedy. King Comedy, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle? Very good. Dave Chappelle. King Comedy. Zach the Mac? Right now? As of like history? As of today? Who's like, your favorite King Comedy? Who's your I'm favorite King? Who's your comedy guy? I'm having Dave Chappelle. He gets no respect. <laughs> 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 Um, that's good. I don't know lately who's been making me laugh pretty hard in comedy stand up. Oh, I'm gonna have to go with uh Tom Segura, bro. Tom Segura, that's just me. Okay, he, may be a, he, may be a, he may not be a he may not be he may not be a name star guy, but uh, yeah, his just reality of comedy is just there. I love it. It's too. just there. I agree with you. It's just he gets I, it, so that's I'm going with Jim Carrey, number one of all. Ooh, okay. King of comedy, he's been my he's been my top number one guy for the longest. So. I'm going stand up. I was, Ace I mean, Ventura, Pet Detective, Liar Liar. If we Mask, toss a stand-up, Jim Carrey had good stand-up. Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, if, if, we're gonna go, yeah. if we're going to go movies-wise, too, then I don't know. I'm a king of... Uh, For movies? I don't know. It's, I think Jim Carrey overpowers Adam Sandler in movies. Yes, he does. I ain't going to stun. Adam Sandler's had some... For he's me, right he's there. Yeah, he's got that niche. He's, he's had, had some hits. My you generation. You got Big yeah. Daddy. You got Big Daddy. Grown-ups. Classic, Freaking, uh, what's it called? Adam, Happy Adam, Gilmore. Really, and, Matt. Yeah, if Danny man. Doe was, if Danny Doe was watching, I was going to say, dude, give me give me the top five Adam Sandler movies. Listen, he became a fan of him with Hubie Halloween. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Very good. All right. Time it off, everybody. That's our show. And while it's as up, everybody, we appreciate you for tuning in. As always, be Tony totally the signing off. Otherwise, don't forget to Google us. As always, now we are on Twitch, Spotify, YouTube, as well as here on Facebook. And follow and us on Twitter, guys. And Apple Music. You got it right. All right. Oh, and also, That's me. Go ahead. This is a picture we are trying to show you the last time. I don't understand. That's the Matador Joker. Oh, no, man. We got to say that. I, I, to, what the hell? I want to show it up because that's the reason I, I wasn't a fan of what we heard about it. Got it. All, all I was just going to say is John Jones is still the greatest nah. UFC fighter of all time. Oh, yeah. He came in and said, please, please you don't understand. Please stop. Please stop. I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. All right, cool. Have a good night. All right. Have a good night, y'all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.